another episode of the Draper Dialogues right here on the AWF Facebook page. DJ Draper here, and we are about set to get rocked up as we're coming at you with Super Thunder Frog today here on the program. Froggy, how you doing? Hey, what's up, baby boy? How you doing? Looking good, looking shinier and bolder than ever. I love it. <laughs> you know, I've had the extra time here to really take care of the scalp and try to, you know, have it look good for the Minnesota summer that I guess we're going to be enjoying outside socially distanced. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still coming. The energy of the sun is still going to move in and that's going to warm our hearts. I know it's very dark time, very scary very uncertain, but I let you know this. I got the little inside scoop from all the gods in the galaxy, and we're going to kick out just fine. It's going to be two and a half, but we're going to kick out, baby. Well, I really appreciate your optimism there, Froggy. Uh, got to ask you, how are you, uh, crime fighting amphibian here? You're normally taking out bad dudes inside the ring. How are you handling this stay at home order? Well, the funny thing is, bad dudes have went into hibernation, you know. Nothing scares bad dudes than, uh, you know, uh, sickness and bad lung disease, you know. Because usually bad dudes uh, smoke cigarettes and do bad dude things. So they're real scared at this time. So, you know, keeping the peace right now has been, you know, relatively easy. But with that said... The, the uh, destruction and the sadness of, uh, you know, what's happening and how everybody gets so very sick, so very quick. This is where Thunderfrog comes to try to brighten people's days, you know, dropping off care packages, you know, making fresh buttermilk for those that are, are going without, you know, um, getting, you know, kitty from tree, you know, doing the simple things, you know, those things that's, you know, uh, what young superheroes are made of, you know. But you haven't been able to bring that into the ring, and that's where we're used to seeing you take out all these bad Breaks dudes. my heart. Uh, how, how's that working out for you? How are you staying in ring shape, if that's possible right now for you, Frog? Oh, baby, you know, I, I, I make sure I get out there and I, I kick and I stretch and I punch and I kick. I'm the thunder god, baby. I keep moving. No matter what, I have to keep moving, you know. So uh, every day I wake up, you know, bright and early, have my big giant uh, pancake, uh, smother it with, with uh, sunflower seed butter, you know, um, you know, 100% uh, real maple syrup, you know. If Thunderfrog has a uh, Achilles heel on this, uh, this planet and in this galaxy, it's pancakes, baby. And I, I, I put those down quite a bit. And then I, you know, I, I get in a regiment of, you know, uh, I, I, I dial in in, in a, a positive galaxy of, of energy that I hold within my heart. And I, I fight the bad dudes that uh, live within me. You know, I, I got to stay sharp, you know. So I use this time as make, make Thunder Frogs time uh, better, you know, I, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing the inside, and there's bad dudes, you know, and that, it, it's a it's a time to, uh, you know, we're so limited in what we do, it's very important for us to uh, find purpose, and I, I find purpose in uh, taking care of the thunder god, you know, keeping myself rocked up, you know. Well, we're glad to hear that, and we're glad to hear that real maple syrup is part of that. You know, no one wants to eat that log cabin stuff off the grocery store shelves, you know. So. Oh, that's for the belly. That's just for rubbing. That's for sexy fun time. The <laughs> log cabin's for, you know, good a good time, you know. Uh, but you don't want to put that inside your body. That's for outside body use only. Okay, good to know, good to know. Uh, Froggy, we're going to rewind things here uh, back to the beginning uh, how did you make it from the galaxies to the squared circle? What did your path as a frog look like coming into this business? Well, you know, I was younger, tadpole sent here from galaxy far, far away. And, um, you know, you know uh, I'm used to uh, just taking hammer of peace and 
going in and smashing bad dudes upside head and being a hero for all. Um, here, you can't just go smash bad dudes. So I, I looked at uh, the, 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 the sport of professional wrestling because there's a lot of bad dudes in professional wrestling. So I took my hammer of peace. And I went and I started cleaning up the business of professional wrestling. Um, it was a long journey, you know. I, I, I met a, a, a lot of great souls and, uh, you know, honed my craft of uh, becoming a thunder god, you know. Um, and uh, now I fight bad dudes all across U.S. of A, baby. And so you mentioned that hammer of peace and not too long it breaks ago at, my heart. at an event. And if this is uh, triggering too much, you don't just let me know and we can move on to something else. But it hurts. It hurts. You know, hammer of peace uh, is no longer with us. Uh, magic <laughs> in the world is broken. Uh, you know, I, I, hammer of peace broke a month later. Everybody was sick. It, it's very very sad time you know and i feel like it's thunder frogs uh fault for not uh oh, no. protecting the peace you know and uh it's it's yeah. it's tough situation is it is very true it's hard on thunder god that's for sure but yeah but i'm doing everything in my power to right that wrong i promise you this i promise you well, I don't think there's anyone out there watching this that is going to blame you or blame the hammer of peace for what we're experiencing right now. And I just can't believe you would even say that. Come on, man. That's that's not true. No, I, I try to do so well. I try to do well by the fans and, and, the, and the community that loves Thunder Frog very much and keeps me so rocked up, you know keeps me alive and blood is, is, is pumping through my veins, you know. And another thing that keeps Thunderfrog going is knowing one day I'll come back and I'll, I'll wrestle some bad dudes and I'll crush some bad dudes again. But more importantly, I'm coming back for AWF title. And I see you, JDX. You got the nice long vacation, but Thunderfrog takes no days off and I'm coming through. I'm not... You're not the only one with the key to the gym, baby. Thunderfrog's pushing galaxies far and apart, lifting Boulder up and smashing dreams and creating a miracle. A miracle of thunder love, baby. Rocked up. All right, well, I thought no one was supposed to be able to get into gyms right now, but I guess with you having the galaxies, there is your own gym. Oh, there's all sorts of uh, 365... Uh, Fitness is all through the galaxy. They keep it pretty clean. It's under uh, uh, ultraviolet ray uh, uh, light. So, you know, you step in, germs can't survive in there, you know. And you get a nice, you know, cooked quick uh, workout, you know. It helps with the froggy tan too, baby. Froggy tan, gotta love it. Uh, froggy, we asked uh, folks on the social medias for some questions. We got a few of them here. Uh, Kevin on Twitter asks, what is the inspiration behind Thunderfrog, and would he ever consider Battle Toad for a tag team partner? Now I got to be honest here: the Battle Toad reference, I believe, was a video game on the Super Nintendo, maybe when I was nine or okay. ten. Okay, yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, two-part question. Um, I guess we'll give you two answers there, Kevin. Uh. First part, uh, inspiration of Thunder God is uh, the energy and the rock upness of, of the galaxy pumping through my veins, you know. When you have a whole entire galaxy crushing down on you and bringing you to your knees and making you want to, to, to scream out, you have only two choices. You can let the galaxy crush you or you can lift that galaxy and you can move that galaxy and you can make that galaxy your own and you become a thunder god and that's what i have that is why thunder frog exists baby you know i i i, I choose not to let galaxy crush me and i choose to move galaxy into other uh, aspects of, of magic and beauty and belief you know that's what i do 
Uh, second part uh, question uh, of question, uh, Battletoads. I've met a many Battletoads, but not a single one, not a single one can hold Hammer of Peace, you know. And, then, and that, uh, that uh, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, specious here, you know. But if you're going to hang with the Thunder God, you got to be able to move some Thunder Hammer, you know. That's, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's A plus A, you know. It's just how things go, you know. So, uh, but I am searching for Battle Toad because I think a Battle, a battle Frog and uh, Battle Toad would make a, a magical tag team and really, really just clean up some some real bad dudes uh, in the AWF. You know, uh, really just uh, bang, you know. Well, speaking of tag teams, most often in the AWF, I'd say we've seen you in there as part of the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo with the Wildcat. Uh, how did that tag team combination get started? Well, you know, when you're rock up superhero and you need another rock duck superhero and you got a kitty friend in your life there ain't there ain't many choices other than to go out there and beat up bad dudes and that's what the minnesota wrecking crew minnesota wrecking zoo lives by baby so we go out there and we stretch them we hit them we crack them and we stretch them again because baby we are dynamite with the laser beam and we bring it and we we lift those folks to the heavens and drop them down like no other because i can i can fly to the galaxy and so can my 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 kitty friend so we keep it very very rocked up so it, it was a no-brainer you know we we met each other and it was uh you know, tag team beauty as, at, at first sight, like uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. You know, there was magic. <laughs> Magical moments, indeed. Uh, Frog, another question here on Twitter. What initially brought you out to Chikara? Uh, that was quite some time ago in your wrestling career, was it not? Oh, yeah. You know, so Chikara, you know, was the first... Uh, place to give uh, the the super thunder uh, rocked up god a home you know and they uh they uh taught me the ins and outs of how to spot a bad dude and how to get rid of a bad dude in the world of professional wrestling and now i think i'm i'm a i'm a i mean i'm a certified hero a certified thunder god all because of chicago pro wrestling they created the Thunder God. So it was a no-brainer, you know, uh, when you're that rocked up and you create as much rocked up talent as as the, uh, you know, as the uh, Chikar Wrestle Factory has done, you know, it, it only makes sense that one day they would create a Thunder God. And now you have a super Thunder Frog, baby, yeah. All right, another two-part question for you here. Uh, what are some of the favorite opponents you've gone against inside the ring, and uh, who are some competitors you'd like to take on that you haven't yet had the opportunity to? Uh, let's uh, start. Or invite that big, evil, garbage, satanic, evil, ugly, stupid face. Uh, I, I love to hit him with Hammer of Peace, but wow, he is resilient. And he is hardcore. Uh, love, uh, love uh, getting into the ring and, and battling for uh, world supremacy with that guy. You know, good versus evil. It's beauty. You know, you can't write that stuff. You know, um, uh, you know. Uh, I, I really enjoy uh, uh, tangling with uh, downtown party man Petey Brown. You know, he's he's a good dude. But you know, uh, whether in tag matches or one on one. He's excited, and he's trying to, he's, he's, he's just trying to keep the party started, baby. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I really love uh, the, uh, I love beating up and smacking ugly, stupid, dumb uh, 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 psychopath uh, Sterling Bond right in his cross eye. That is a, a lot of fun of mine. I, you know, I, I give him one, I smack one eye, 
it goes straight. I smack the other one, it goes cross. It's a lot of fun. Vividly we do detailed. that a lot, you know. Um, you know, um, I really would like to uh, get in the ring with uh, 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 WCW AWA's own uh, Tony Danucci. Um, you oh know, I think I could teach him a thing or two about stretching. You know, uh, he's very rocked up, and uh, you know, he's got a body of a god. So I'm really, I really would like to push. You'll need luck. to get him out of semi-retirement for that one, though, will you not? Yeah, exactly. Keyword: semi-retirement. This business ain't done with you until you're done, done. You know what I mean? And he knows what I mean. But then, uh, you know, I I've had many uh, opponents that I've enjoyed, uh, many of matches. More importantly, I can't wait to. Uh, to face more and more people, you know. Uh, I love people that are uh, first uh, stepping into the, the galaxy of pro wrestling because they're the ones that are daring to, to, to try to stand up to a, a, a god and try to, to wrestle a thunder god. And they have the most purest of blood to try to beat a god. And that's, that's when I, I, I strive. I truly strive when, you know, you have... Uh, is somebody facing you across that ring that believes they can fight a god like me. And that's when things are good, baby. Well, we'll have to bring some of those names that you mentioned on to this program, perhaps, to see if they will answer the challenge of Yeah, the JDX, Super you know, keeping that title warm for Thunderfrog. That has eluded the, uh, the Super Thunderfrog. I want that title. I need it. I want it. I, I need gold. I need it, you know. I have no hammer right now. So I, I, I take your gold. I need that magic. I need that magic. No okay. disrespect, JDX. No disrespect. But I thunder God. You understand? And that gold is for me. <laughs> Frog, a question completely irrelevant to the one that we just asked you. Uh, Mike from Roseville on Twitter wants to know, what was it like growing up as a super thunder tadpole? Uh, you know, to be honest, it was, uh, it was pretty tough. You know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, evil predators larger than you in the galaxy. You know, I, you know, I am, I'm one of uh, 16,000 babies, you know, and, uh, only three of us survive, you know. So that's how, that 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 kind of puts it in perspective of what kind of, of of competitor you're dealing with here, you know. It's always been survival for the Thunder God, you know. It's it's all I know, you know, and, and bringing peace, you know. So it was a challenge, but you know what? I went to ex I went to exchange it for the world, you know. I have the galaxy in my hand now. I am the peacekeeper. I have failed, but I will not keep failing. I promise you this. And then another question, uh, super relevant to the topic of professional wrestling. Uh, some people would say that frog legs taste like chicken. Uh, can you speak to the accuracy of that statement? Uh, you can tell that guy... I got some frog legs that I would like to turn sideways and stick up their buddy, buddy, butt, butt. You know what do I mean? You talk about how I taste your sickle. Oh, that's cruel. That's cruel. I don't talk about how human tastes. I can eat human and a lot of places in the galaxy. But you know what? I don't talk about my experiences eating human or smashing, uh, taking hammer and smashing humans and, and, and eating them. No, I don't talk about that. I don't rub it in your face. I can, but I don't. It's rude. Well, you as a thunder frog fight for peace. You would never take on a conflict with another human being just for absolutely no reason at all, right? Hey, food's food, baby, you know. You think oysters like to be shut? Hell no. That's the all I'm going to say about this. A couple more questions here. Uh, so looking at things kind of holistically here, you're an unconventional superstar in an industry that's already unconventional. Look in my eye! Tell me what see. It's called your personality. 
had a Twitter interaction with him not too long ago, by the way. Uh, So what goals do you have in the AWF? You mentioned getting that title. uh, And then beyond just the AWF in the state of Minnesota here, what goals do you have in this sport as a whole? Uh, You know, it's pretty simple, you know. I'm out here to rock up everybody day in and day out. Day in and day out, you know. I'm, I'm here to put uh, uh, magic in hearts. I'm here to, uh, you know, uh, make believers, uh, you know, uh, dreamers into believers because, you know, I fight for peace, number one. I fight for the people. I, I put everything on the line for the people. And that is why in, in the AWF, I deserve to wrestle for the people. So I want the people's champ, and that is your JDX. When this is all said and done, Thunderfrog wants a piece of you. You got me once, but you will not get Thunderfrog twice. I promise you this. And, uh, you know, I, larger goals, I want to just keep staying rocked up, baby, from the socks up, you know. Just go with all the Dairy Queens and get wet off all their milk, baby, yeah. Get real wet, milky style. Goops and goops and gobs and gobs, baby. Wet. It's huh. crazy. Interesting way to wrap that That's it. up. Stay rocked up, baby. Disco. Frog, right now without so any, any uh, wrestling events happening live, I uh, understand this can be quite a difficult time out there for you wrestling warriors how can folks support you perhaps through checking out some of your merchandise or other wrestling memorabilia that might be available? Hey, I, uh, I'm on a new website that just uh, launched. It's called Merch Boy, Merch, uh, B-O-I. Uh, you know, uh, a good buddy of mine, Jervis, uh, Gentleman Cottonbelly, launched this. And there's a lot of real cool gear on there. Good pricing, fair, uh, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I'm not hurting this people dying all over this world and this earth right now. Um, if you like to buy things and you like to look rocked up, or by all means, but don't ever do it on sympathy because Thunderfrog will stay rocked up. If you truly just want to support me and keep me alive, hey, that's cool too, baby. So merchboy.com or oh, I'm on pro wrestling tees too as Super Thunder Frog. I got some really rocked up stuff. But you know, take a look. Uh, real good stuff out there. Uh, but Merch Boy, baby. Merch Boy, Merch Boy, Merch Boy. You got to check it out. Good stuff. Real cool things. Uh, you know, uh, just uh, but more importantly, uh, support each other. Love each other. Look out for each other and be positive because this time is, is scary stuff, you know. Frog, I just want to say how much we've enjoyed seeing you inside the AWF ring, just the way that you're able to connect with wrestling fans the same way, whether they're in a 21-plus event downtown Minneapolis or a high school gym where you got the five, six, I love you, nine, ten-year-olds all reacting, all having a great time. Frog, we can't wait to see you back inside the ring. Any closing words? DJ, you keep me rocked up. You know you are the hands down, my favorite ring announcer I've ever met and I've ever had a call my match in, in, in the entire sport. And I've been around. I've had a lot of people. You are a pro and I love you, baby. And we'll be back. And you'll be back in that ring saying, hey, from the galaxies, weighing in, in two full moons. Super Thunderfrog once again, baby. I promise you. I promise you. Frog, I can't wait. Can't wait for this all to pass. Can't wait to get back to normal. Can't wait to see you get those fans rocked up. Can't wait to see you take on some bad dudes. Frog, you be well, my friend. I love you, baby boy. You be well, too. I love you, AWF. Stay rocked up. Wow. All right. Well, we thank you all for joining us on a very special edition of the Draper Dialogues. Coming at you every Tuesday here on out on the AWF Facebook page. Be sure to take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and we hope to see you at ringside soon. So long, everyone.